You know, the, er the early season games mean as much as the late season games. So the Ducks win the all-important face-off to begin overtime. Terry with Mintyakov out there and Carlson. Keller gets the puck back and now circles high with Schmaltz. Back to Keller. Looking for a shooting lane. Blocked by Leo Carlson. Loose puck in the corner. And Schmaltz ran into the referee. Mitnikoff plays it around. Carlson ahead. Break away for Troy Terry. Oh! Tried to go five hole. Vamelka stopped him. What a stop. Terry going for the hat trick. And Vamelka just stoned him. What a play by Carlson, too. You know, a touch on the puck to just flip it into the open ice. Ducks able to get changes while the Coyotes handle back in their own zone. Dumba. Schmaltz goes for a change and Dumba races in. Peels back. He's got Michelli as a trailer. Hangs on to it. Now Lawson Kraus. He's one goal shy of a hat trick tonight. Michelli wheeling away from Zegras who will track him to the neutral zone. About Michelli, he can turn on a dime and it makes him a real tough guy to hang on to. Dumba now for Kraus. Fowler tracks him. Michelli picks it up. Zegras trying to stay with him. Cuts against the grain. No shooting angle. He'll hang on to it and now drift back to center ice. Coyotes want to change. Fans are booing. It's a smart play by them. We've got tired players on the ice now. Cooley winds it up, pulls back, gets it back. Carconi goes behind the Anaheim net, comes out the other side. Cooley still stick handling. Hands it off, Carconi. Gave it right back, Valamac Valamaki, the lone defenseman out for the Coyotes. Here's Logan Cooley, blocked by Cam Fowler. Problem is there's just no energy yeah. left to get to those loose pucks. Cooley drops it off. This is Michael Carconi. Tried to pull it in and went off a skate and trickles across the zone. Valamaki ran into him but kept the puck alive. Carconi off the boards. For Cooley out high, deflected wide, and Fowler gets on his horse and gets after it. Coyotes changing. Cam stretches for King Zegras. He's got Petrano with it. Across the line. Zegras will lay it back as Anaheim finishes changes. That, that's a smart play by Trevor. I mean, he had nothing left. I mean, those guys have been out there for a while. They needed fresh legs. We're over halfway through overtime as Lacombe motors through the neutral zone into the Arizona end. Trying to use his reach to protect it from Moser. And he does. Terry is there to support. Puck pops into the middle of the ice. Blocked initially by Terry. But here comes Nick Schmaltz. He drops it back. J.J. Moser into the Anaheim zone, working on Lacombe, drops it back, and here's Clayton Keller. Ever dangerous, but three on three. Here he comes, cuts in front, puck check to stall. Gotta go, they had a man advantage here, gotta go. McTavish gotta go. now turns it into a two on one with Terry. Mason McTavish to Terry, Score! McTavish. You know what? Yeah, these guys have just been magic in the extra sessions this season. Uh, unbelievable. And what a pass from McTavish to Terry. And you know what? Troy Terry didn't have a lot of room up top. But Milka, I thought, did a good job getting across. But hat trick overtime game winner. What a moment. The win streak reaches five, but it was the look off in the neutral zone by Mason McTavish that set up the two on one. You're right, a little stop and go from McTavish right here. Watch him look off Schmaltz and then away he goes. See you later. Two on one. Good pass. And Troy Terry, you know, he's a right handed shot for him to handle that puck and get it up top. That is just one beautiful finish from him.